This new Routemaster double-decker has been converted into a pure battery electric bus. The repowering process takes just a week and is done by Equipmake, who have managed to fit 400 kilowatt hours of batteries onto the bus without reducing the space for passengers. 400 kilowatt hours of batteries, it's around 150 miles range. It does depend an awful lot on the heating system, so what's crucial on the bus is you can use as much energy to heat and cool the saloon of the vehicle as it takes to drive it along if it's very hot or very cold weather. And that's why with us developing our own heating and cooling system that's integrated with the rest of the vehicle system, that's, that's given us some more efficiencies. With the support of the Advanced Propulsion Centre, Equipmake have designed and manufactured a fully integrated drivetrain and temperature management system that makes their solution incredibly efficient. Bizarrely enough, the concepts for the motor, inverter and drivetrain on the bus were first developed by Equipmake on another APC project, the Aerial Hypercar, which looked to push EV engineering to the very limit. When you push things right to the limit, I think for the last few percent things get a lot more difficult. Um, so in solving those problems, you, know, you end up with a much better product. For example, our motor we develop for bus is about half the weight of the competitor, main competitor motor in the bus field. It's significantly lighter. But what's the incentive for bus companies to repower their diesel and hybrid buses? Diesel motors are failing at half point in the life, which means that it's then very expensive to very to replace those motors and instead of spending that on a diesel motor they're looking to come to us and us to completely transform that bus into a zero emission electric. The UK's got 30,000 large buses there just isn't the funding or time available to replace those all with new in the next 15 years. Everybody's kind of realising that you know targets for zero um, emission vehicles are racing towards us. These vehicles with a bus typically last 15 years um, so there's going to be lots of buses out there which are pretty new, which are going to need to be converted to, to zero emissions. Equipmaker are also working with bus manufacturer Bulus to build brand new electric buses with industry leading ranges for an electric double decker. They're currently experiencing high demand for both purpose built and repowered electric buses. We are literally speaking to every single UK bus operator. They're either approaching us or we're already in communication with them. So it's a very, very exciting time. With the support of Advanced Propulsion Centre funding, Equipmake have seen incredible growth with much more to come. The money that we got from the Advanced Propulsion Centre, we could match them with Japanese investment, early stage investment. That enabled us to get a product which enabled us to win uh, contracts from a major uh, UK bus operator. On the back of that in our pipeline, we now currently have a pipeline of £400 million worth of potential orders, and that has enabled us to go to the stock market and float the business. So basically, when we started with our APC funding, we had 15 people and we were a very small company. At the end of the APC funding, we're a listed company with 75 people. To find out more about how the Advanced Propulsion Centre are helping British businesses accelerate the development of low-carbon transport, visit apcuk.co.uk.